Hey there, it's me. Coming to you live from my motel room. Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> I'm not sure which video I'm going to do where I talk about that. I don't know, maybe this one if you're lucky. <sighs> so anyway, today in the news, um, looks like Lindsay Lohan is going to jail um, for like 90 days for cocaine and alcohol and basically partying and living la vida loca. <sighs> Which, can you blame her? <laughs> so she started bawling in the courtroom. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I, I pity her because it is July and it is like time to party at the pool and, and beach weather and stuff. Like that really sucks. By the time she gets out, the weather is going to be like cold and dreary and it'll be winter time. So she totally wasted all her summer in jail. And that really sucks. But anyway, that's her life, and hopefully that never happens to me. <laughs> I know how much the cops like to arrest me. <laughs> that's a topic for another video. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> get excited and stay tuned, everybody, because guess what? I am going to be creating, yes, producing, editing, or I should say attempting to do so, my own little web reality series. Yep, look, I didn't want to become a producer. I don't want to be. I'm an entertainer. That's what I do. That's what I was put on the earth for. But producers are just not really, I don't know, they're dicking me around, to make a long story short. That's how I ended up in this hotel room, okay? I had a producer that offered me a reality show deal. And he, he said, we were probably going to move me into a different location, different apartment or house. And so I delayed and delayed and delayed on renewing my lease at my apartment. And finally, the, the apartment people got fed up and can't, had sheriffs come to my door and escort me out and, like, and my daughter and the dogs. In like five minutes, we had to pack a bag and check out. <laughs> and now I found a house and... That you're having ten a trouble getting the tenants out of there. So I'm in a hotel. That's, this is where I live right now. This is like crazy. I'll give you the MTV Cribs tour of it in a minute. But um, what I wanted to announce is that I'm going to make an attempt at creating my own web series. And this is what it's going to be called, Cinderella. Okay. And guess what? But the first episode is coming soon, and it's going to be. Uh, part of probably a couple of episodes called The Making of a Celebrity Model, which say moi. Um, I'm going to start off with a bunch of footage that I took years ago showing my first trips to Milan. Um, the, Milan is the fashion capital of the world, Milan and Paris, and that's where they send beginner models to groom them to be like supermodels and celebrity models and stuff. And I was lucky enough to get hooked up with a very big agency that did seem kind of interested in grooming me. So um, you'll see footage of that. The agency is called Ricardo Guy in Milano. And you can maybe even see my agents that were there. Patrizia and Marco. Marco looks like a uh, freaking Richard Gere. I was like, can I sleep with you for the job? <laughs> anyway, um, then you'll get to see the inside of my room real model apartment. Yep. It's not going to be a set like a like on Tyra Banks model show where it's like a set model apartment. This is what a real model apartment looks like in Milan. Okay. And what real models look like because I have two roommates, a guy and a girl. So you'll get to see that. And then um, I will also have an amazing, um, you'll see an excerpt of me with one of the most legendary photogra fashion photographers in Milan. His name is Alfredo Sabatini, and he's freaking hilarious. He's, like, going crazy and running around like a freaking retard lunatic, but he's adorable. And um, he actually uh, is responsible for making Cindy Crawford who she is. He basically gave her her start. I remember at his studio looking at her, some of her first pictures that he took of her. She was actually, between you and I, she was actually had a big ass. I was surprised. It made me feel better. <laughs> anyway, um, so I hope y'all are looking forward to it. I'm gonna. I had to order a cable off the internet to be able to transfer my <clears throat> the footage from my video camera to my laptop for editing. So 
so that has to come in the mail. So I, I can't create the, I can't do the editing and post yet. So I'm hoping to have that done by this weekend. And of course, I'm still working on my other projects. My swimsuit store is just got to do one little thing, put the PayPal link, and it's ready to go. My makeup line is almost ready. And we're just going to have a lot of things hitting at once. So I hope you're all excited. Um, and now I'll give you an MTV Cribs tour of my Motel 6 room. Because <laughs> even I want to document this. This is classic. <sighs> from, from the Winways in Milan to a Motel 6. Oh, God. What has... Actually, I slept in my car a week ago. And then we stayed at the Hilton for three days right after that. When I found out I wasn't going to get my house. So, I'm going to keep documenting this stuff because, first of all, my life is so up and down, up and down right now that it just needs to be documented. It's just crazy. Second of all, I don't want to go through this alone. And I want to make sure that it's not in my head, all this crazy shit that's happening to me. That way, at least if I document it and have other people see it, and I can view it later, I can know that this wasn't like a bad dream or like something I fabricated in my own head. Whew, because my life, dude, is weird right now. I have like really good stuff happening and really shitty stuff happening. Two flat tires in one month, stepped on a bee and got a bee stung, gave all my money to a down payment on a house that I didn't even get. So I had to sleep in my car, okay? <laughs> I slept in my car. And my car is like this big, you guys. Yeah. I had spent so much money in hotels and gave so much money in a down payment. That I sl I was, and I was willing to sleep in my car because I knew the next day I was going to move into my own home. And I was, I was going to sleep on the living room carpet. It was, I didn't care. I was just going to be in there, be in my home. And then guess what? Fucking tenants were still there. So anyway, I'll give you two on my because it's really messy and I'm not normally this sloppy, but I just, I don't know, just kind of feeling like being a slob. Alright, so this is the bed. <laughs> this is the bed. Oh, here's a book. Can you texture some of that book? Sure do. Random Marques. I'm on the book cover. See? Yeah. And then we have, um, oh, i got to get these lamps on this Motel 6. These are priceless, classic. Yeah. See that? <laughs> There's my bed. Mm, we got this fabulous mirror. Look at the mirror. It's just a work of art, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I put my little princess, princess um, crowns here because my friend Angelique taught me that we're all princesses. Oops. There's. There's my crown. It's my princess crown. <laughs> I have my collection of sunglasses. This is just my, my Motel 6 hotel collection of glasses. I have way more like in storage and I have I have four storages full of stuff. There's the TV class TV. There's my wardrobe. My MTV Motel 6 wardrobe. The rest of my wardrobe is in four storages right now on racks and racks and boxes and boxes. Here is the sink and the, this is what I use to even wash my plastic dish, my my plastic dishes, my plastic fork, look. That's how bad my life has gotten. And there's the bathroom. And that's my makeup and my jewelry. <laughs> oh God, things have gotten a little shitty around here. So there it is, guys. Um, I hope you're excited because I'm really excited to show you what my life was like when I was in Milan, being molded into the person I have become today, which is a celebrity model, actress, and they didn't know this in Milan, but a recording artist as well. So stay tuned and um, get ready for the first episode, which will hopefully be up on YouTube and blip.tv. Ciao, bellas e bellos. <laughs>